I tend to be a 34E, 34DD, somewhere in that range. Sometimes I can get, I can squeeze the tissue into a C. <laughs> but generally I'm pretty comfortably double D at this point. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me, Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. If you're new here, I make videos about my chaotic good life. Subscribe, follow, social media. So during 2020, I actually took some time and money because what else was there to do in 2020 besides this, to figure out a good running bra for me as someone who is not even amazingly endowed, but endowed enough to be annoyed with the running bra scene. And I purchased a lot of bras, returned a lot of bras, and I finally found bras that worked for me. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk about my three favorite bras that I like to wear for running. And then I'm also gonna talk about some tips and other tools I use to make sure that my running experience is overall a pleasant experience for me. Before we get into this video though, I just wanted to quickly mention, real quick, stay with me, okay? Are you registered to vote? November elections are coming. We are, I wanna say less than 100 days away from elections. If you are not registered to vote, please go register, okay? I know it can be frustrating um, with everything that's going on, but I feel that voting is still one of the few ways that you can at least Check, check it off that, check it off your box. You know what you can't say? You can't say I didn't vote, okay? Cause I did. So vote.org is an amazing resource for all of your voting questions and needs. You can see when voter registration deadlines are by state there. And just overall, it is a great resource if you have any questions around the voting process. And now more than ever, voting really is important. Currently, there are around 27 states that have introduced bills to restrict access to voting. So check vote.org so that way you can make sure you are signed, sealed, delivered, ready for the November election. And for those of y'all who think that your vote doesn't matter or what's the point, you'd be surprised, man. You would never know what it's gonna come down to. For example, there was a Virginia election in 2018 that was evenly split and the judge ended up just pulling the incumbent's name out of a ceramic bowl. So I will be voting this November. I hope you do too. Check out the link in the description, vote.org, to make sure you're ready to go. Let's get into this video. I tend to be a 34E, 34DD. So I know generally you're supposed to start with your least favorite and then you go to your favorite for watch time or whatever, but I'm gonna get straight to the goods first. And I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. Nike, do not discontinue this bra. Y'all be acting like y'all have high support bras and then I buy them and they're not. High support for who? Y'all be acting like that. This one actually is don't discontinue it or we gon' box. This is the Nike Dry Fit Alpha. <laughs> this is what I run in nine times out of 10. It's a movable hold. There's nothing in it that's too stiff and constricting, and it's incredibly light, which if you're a long distance runner, you're trying to minimize the amount of weight you're carrying because, I mean, your chest is heavy enough, right? Really epic band for support under the chest. And then also, something I really like about the design here is it has like a spillage gate across it. It has this spillage that allows so like you don't be spilling out from the top, which I really like. The next thing about this bra that I think might annoy some people, but I think is a pro, is it has double straps. So it straps once at the bottom, and then it straps again about halfway up your back. I think this is really cool because it helps to distribute the weight more across your entire back and your entire chest. Um, rather than right at the back where you would usually hook at. And of course, nice thick straps and a lot of strap length to work with. Obviously for me, I'm shorter. Um, and so I have the straps pretty pulled down. But for those of you who are taller and heavily endowed, there's a lot of space for you to work with from where your breasts probably naturally sit to however tall you are, the separation from your shoulder to where your breasts naturally sit. You know what I'm saying? And having a lot of adjustment ability with that. It really is dry fit and like moisture wicking. So when I go on long runs, 
I am someone who sweats very quickly and very easily. And something that can be very frustrating about different bras is they are made to be worn in the most ideal conditions. And so once they get wet, the support that they are supposed to offer kind of like goes away. <laughs> and that doesn't happen with this bra. I'm still feeling the support that I need to keep running. And something I've noticed too when I wear this bra is it does get wet pretty quickly and that's because it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's taking your sweat, pulling it to the outside of the bra so it can drop off. And so I'll be five miles into a run completely soaked, drenched in sweat, and I can feel my sweat coming off of the bra and sliding off of me. This is my favorite bra. I have like four of these, so that way I can run for a whole week and then wash them all. One thing caveat I will say about this bra is, again, I am a 34E, double D, somewhere in there. I'm also a petite person in general, so I wear a size small in this bra. I am not tempted to go up to a medium, even though there is, I do have a like a smidge of spillage, but because of the guard, it doesn't bother me. And I feel like if I went up to a medium, it would actually be too big. So I wear a small, and I think that this bra works really well for someone at least in the double D to E range. Now, for those y'all who are past the double D to E range, you know, purchase at your own discretion. Keep your keep your return tags, okay? Do your at-home jump test, you know what I'm saying? Do your at-home test and see if it works for you. Next, second favorite bra. And I actually discovered this bra because of ads. You know, sometimes the ads actually be hidden, okay? Sometimes they really be out here doing the Lord's work with these ads. The She Fit Bra. And I think the thing that makes the She Fit Bra epic is the amount of customization that you have at like every area <laughs> of this bra. I'll make sure to cut to footage, but the back strap itself, you can adjust the back strap to really get a tight fit. You zip, you know, you locked and loaded in, zipped in, and then also you can adjust the straps across the top to really get a good fit um, and to really feel like you're truly supported. If you're someone who is trying to get into like high intensity workouts, things like that, strongly recommend the She Fit Bra. Like you can really just, I keep saying locked and loaded, but like that's what I, that's what it feels like. It feels like when I put it on, I'm just like, oh, I am ready. You know, you're gonna be out there doing this thing with the ropes, you know, you see people doing that thing, the rope-a-dope doing that, you know, this one. The limitation of this bra is sweat. Sweat, sweat be messing it up. Sweat be, sweat be making this, this bra is heavy when it gets full of sweat. It is so heavy. I, I ran with this on a 5K. I was completely soaked in sweat and I could feel this bra starting to give up. Now, thankfully, I had the ability to adjust the straps as I was running um, because they are pretty easy to access, but it's I could never quite get it. Obviously, you don't wanna disturb your race. Like, you don't wanna be trying to like fix yourself <laughs> during a race. So that made it really difficult. And I could feel that that sweat had nowhere to go, like no moisture wicking capabilities really. Um, so that just really limited what this bra could do. But I was pretty, like I said, locked and loaded. I would say if you're someone who is heavily endowed, beautifully endowed, beyond the E cup range, definitely check this bra out because I do have other friends who are way more endowed than me and they have this bra and they really love it. Like it really works for them. It really allows them to have that movement. I haven't checked out She Fit in a while since I purchased this bra. And so maybe they've come out with a lighter version of it. You know, maybe they've come out with some moisture wicking stuff and I'm just not aware, but my third favorite bra. Really, it's a toss up. If I'm being honest, it's a toss up between the She Fit and this one. And the reason why, and the only reason why this wasn't number three is purely aesthetics. This is a bra by Anita, which has apparently has been making bras for a minute. They've been making bras since like 1886. Something crazy. And this is their active bra. I don't know what, if I find what model it is, was, um, I will link to it in the Eye of Sauron. So supportive, like crazy support with this bra. And as you can also see, 
ton of mesh so that way you're letting the air get to the tissue. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's letting the tissue, the air tissue happen, which is great. Really, I don't have much to say negatively about this bra. The thing that's a bummer about it and why I don't wear it very often. So I'm based in Texas. It is so hot. And for me, and I think most of the runners here in Texas that I see when I'm running, um, most of us like, no shirt. So I'm generally running in my sports bra and my running shorts and like that's it. I don't usually wear any sort of loose, you know, meshy tank or something like that that I'll see runners in other not so hot places wear. Generally it's so hot, nothing. I got sunscreen on and that's it. And this bra's aesthetic, I can tell that people are just looking at me confused because it, it looks it looks like your grandma's bra. You know, like they've been being a bra since 1886 and the design, it is functional, but it is not fashionable. <laughs> it's not giving sports bra. It's giving 1920s grandma bra that you're just wearing out in the atmosphere. And so everybody, men, women, children, they, them, everybody is just looking at me like, I wear this bra when it starts to cool off. That way I can finally wear it with a tank or you know, a long sleeve jacket or whatever the thing I'm wearing to keep myself cool. That's when I bust this bra out. But the aesthetics, it's just, it's giving, it's giving grandma. It's giving 1920s flapper, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Esque, and it's it's just not the look, it's not the vibe, but rowdy support. Um, but this bra is also pricey. Anita Anita is proud. They know they've figured some things out, and they are proud of that. So keep that in mind as well. On top of those three bras, I also make sure to invest in the following to make sure that I don't have any chafing. And I don't know if I'll necessarily recommend this particular brand. This is just the one that I've used the most because actually my husband had this and so I just started using it and lifesaver. Gold Bond Friction Defense. And you can put this anywhere that you have friction, more or less, on your body. Obviously, don't put it, y'all know where not, you don't put it where, y'all know where not to put it, don't put it there. I also do rub it against my inner thigh as well. Even if, like, I'm not even like thick, thick like that. And I still am like, inner thigh. Something I think too you should keep in mind as well when you are going to use this around your breast is make sure that you're like really putting it that U shape. You're getting under, okay? Under, all the way in between. I go all the way in between, all the way around to my pit area. Like really put it on. And then I rub it, like I do at least like five, six, seven strokes across each boob. And then I also run it across and through and around the nipple area as well. Sometimes I think people will say like, oh, friction defense or like, you know, stuff like this doesn't work for me. And it's like, you probably just ain't putting enough, like be generous. <laughs> Second thing, and this is, I've noticed that this is more uh, marketed to men, which I don't know why, because we all have nipples, nippies. They have two different sizes of nippies. Uh, the name is hilarious, but they work. <laughs> they have two different sizes of nippies. Um, I use the one inch one and not because I'm like crazy big or anything, but more just because like coverage, like I just really want good coverage, you know? So nippies is great. And for those y'all who don't know, nippies are basically just adhesive stickers that you can put on your nipple to make sure it doesn't protrude. Um, and again, rub against shirts or rub against your sports bra. And I can go for a long run, put these on, they, they survive, they survive the long run till I get back, take a shower, and I usually take them off in the shower, a little bit of water, get under the adhesive a little bit to help remove it without like causing too much discomfort or pain. In the comments below, please share if you are someone who is beautifully endowed and have found a bra that really works for you and is truly high support, like truly high support, not like high support, no, but it's high support. Let us know in the comments below. And a big shout out to my Patreon producers, patreon.com slash There you get early access to my videos as well as private vlogs and 
and a lot of other exclusive content. Check it out, it's a good time. Big shout out to my Patreon producers. Y'all are amazing for holding me down. Again, I'm Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. If you made it this far in the video, obviously there's something you're vibing with. Go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you when I see you.